everyone. So we are going to see, uh, we are going to create one more function. So login function. Here we are adding the parameters. We are not hard coding the username and the password. We are passing the username and password with the help of in the in, in parameter way. Okay. It it block. I created one more it block. Just login function. Login function with the parameters. Parameters. Okay. Means we are doing parameterization here. Login function where username and the password we are doing parameterization. Parameterization. Okay. We are adding parameters here. Okay. We need to create uh, one more function, right? So this is a test case. See, before before test case, we have created one function. See the this is the original test case. Here I am explaining. This is the original test case. So how many steps? Six, seven, eight, around some space it occupied. Around eight lines of code, nine lines of code. But see here, it ended with within five lines. And also here we have outputted the parameters. But if we parameterize the passwords, uh, username and the password. If we don't hard code, no, we can use for multiple test cases. The same function can be used for the multiple test cases, right? Now I'll show you how to use login function with parameters. Okay, in Cypress. In Cypress. Okay. So go here. Create function name. Cypress. Dot commands dot add okay login form with parameters so we'll pick the same example see why dot visit visit the application which is that application so log out. Copy this URL. Paste here. And go here. CY dot get. Get the element. What is the element? We are picking username field element. Here we can go with the name. Name operation. Only we will go with name. Dot type. I mean, now get them. So password element. So we went with the, we'll go with the name password. Say name password. Admin on to three. See why dot get. So click on the login button. We have type submit.
So we have created one function login function with parameters. Login function with parameters. I am changing that. Okay. Now go to test case. Here you need to do some validation, right? Now see why not get the element. Same element. We can pick the same element. Like admin. Admin one, two, three. Inspect this element. Out. This element should be visible. Be not visible. Visible. So you can have one message. Not log. User login is successful. Successful. Okay. Now we need to call the function here, right? Cy dot. What is the function name? With the with the with the parameters, this is the function name. So can we run and check? It works. So remove it dot only. Dot only. Okay. Can we run and check? Okay. Why this is running correctly? Because we have hard coded the username and the password here. Right? Now we need to pass the parameter base. Suppose tomorrow now take the Gmail account. So only one user will not log in, right? Be because these are the demo applications and they are giving default credentials. But tomorrow what will happen? So like Gmail account, no, I will be having one account, you will be having one account, third person will be having one account. So multiple login should happen. Yes, multiple times user login should happen. So at the time so when we're writing the code no, like this, you need to write for each user account, you need to create one function. For each user account, you need to create one function. Then the script length will be more as well as the function, the code length will be more. You are unnecessarily you are adding more code. So instead of that one, so the same code we can reuse for multiple accounts. How so that's why we are passing based on the parameters. Now pass here username. Username is one parameter. Password is one parameter. Password or password is one parameter. Right? Now copy this same here. Pass these parameters here. The password should this the whatever we are giving. The parameter we should pass here. You should not pass the different. Here, okay. Whatever you are passing here, they should this this should be here. Same. Now go to your test case. Here, see why that login function, right? Just provide username admin. Here, password admin one, two, three. This can you check now? Can you check? See successfully logged in, right? I can't create the account, but I will show you. See, suppose tomorrow, if it changes to other name, so password is same. It should run, but uh, I don't have credentials, right? For now, it will fail. For now, it will fail. Okay. All right. No, but this is the way, because why it is failing now? So default credentials, it see this application is telling default credentials only. I should use these credentials. If there are multiple like login accounts, no multiple credentials, no, then it will work. The same script, whatever I have given now, the same script will work with the same function. Okay, this is the way you need to pass the parameters or arguments. Okay. Now, so suppose if this is the first user, admin and one to three. The second user is having admin one one two three this password admin one if you keep it will it will try to log in so 
द सेम कोड यू कैन यूज फॉर मल्टीपल मल्टी यूजर लॉग इन यू कैन से मल्टी यूजर लॉग इन दिस इज द कोड ओके आई होप यू गाइस अंडरस्टूड द कांसेप्ट